Welcome back to my stand-up channel. Manchester United legend Gary Neville wants to see Boris Johnson booted out of Downing Street and standards restored to politics after the Prime Minister's latest COVID-19 controversy. Manchester United icon Gary Neville has issued a passionate plea to oust Boris Johnson as Prime Minister and bring some standards back into politics. Johnson has faced criticism in recent months over his handling of the Sluice scandal, the awarding of lucrative COVID-19 contracts and the funding his Downing Street flat refurbishment. But that was nothing compared to the outrage that has poured down on him this week after a video emerged of Downing Street staff joking about a gathering during last winter's Tier 3 restrictions. The Prime Minister apologised for the video during PMQs on Wednesday afternoon amid mounting public fury, but that is unlikely to satisfy Old Trafford hero Neville. Neville is a long-standing critic of Johnson and the Conservative government and posted a video of himself outside Old Trafford demanding a change of leadership at Downing Street. In a measured but passionate speech before PMQs, he said there are reports emerging that Boris Johnson is going to announce a press conference at 5.30 p.m. tonight. The distraction tactic is now a predictable one, we've seen it for the last two years. This guy lacks integrity, he lies to us constantly. The mistruths that come out number 10 are just constant. Not only that, he's the worst kind of leader, someone who then expects his team to go under with him and come out and lie for him. His ministers and his MPs are constantly forced to do that and enough is enough. It's not even about a party or a social gathering on December 18th next year, or a secret Santa and cheese and wine. It's about actually having a guy at the top of our country who believes he can just take us for a ride and laugh at us. He does it time after time, after time. This cannot be let go. Now is the time to get this guy out of number 10 and start bringing some standards back into politics. Neville found plenty of support for his views across Twitter, with some suggesting he should replace the PM. One person said, let's put it Nev 2 in charge until we can find a permanent replacement at 10 Downing Street. While someone else added, Gary, I swear if you ran you'd get so many votes and would be the leader if the opposition that we want and deserve. God bless you. A third user commented, thank you Gary Neville for speaking up. Millions of us feel the same as you and you're eloquently voicing this. Midway through PMQs, Neville posted a new tweet urging conservative MPs to oust Johnson as PM. It read, this guy is beyond help. It's up to the Conservatives MPs to act. He's just thrown his staff under the bus and he will throw you as well. In his apology, Johnson suggested he had been misled about the party on the 18th of December last year. He said he had been repeatedly assured that there was no party and that no COVID rules were broken. The government has spent the last week refuting the idea that a party had taken place at all. Source dailystar.co.uk Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.